Okay, in this video we're going to go over the painting of the grills on the 1 to 350 scale Enterprise. Uh, we've had a lot of questions, comments, uh, so we thought we'd put something together and just kind of show you what we've come up with. Um, the first one we had was some people have been asking us how come we do not include a grill masking for the grills. Uh, there's a couple reasons we don't. We decided not to do that. Uh, the first reason is it's really they're really narrow little strips that go in here, and if you don't get them exactly straight, uh, once you peel it up, you're going to see that line once you paint your grill. The other reason is if um, if you don't get it seated just properly down in here, you're going to get paint bleed in there, and then again you're back to uh, back to cleaning that up again, starting again. So one of the ideas we were looking at, we went through the videos online and we saw one about um, somebody who is using white glue or a mask, a paint mask. So we thought we'd give that a try in this video. So this is what we are planning on doing. So you can either use this micro mask, which um, is fine. It would probably work fine. But I mean, the cheaper solution is just get yourself some Elmer's glue. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fill up the voids in here with glue and then we'll just be painting the tops of these then when we're done according to the video we see online is you can just pull these out and everything's nice and clean so the first step we're going to do is we're going to clean up this uh, this grill and um, we find the, the best thing to do is sanding it I, I, I don't want to leave a lot of uh, tooth on it so I think uh, sanding it we just kind of went with a different option we actually buy this steel wool um, it's uh, uh, four aught grit, and it seems to work really good on, especially on clear parts. So what we do is we just sand it, and all just just give it a nice little uh, finish to the to the clear. Allows paint to stick on here a lot easier. Okay, well let's just go ahead, and we're going to take this section here. We're going to fill it up with the white glue, and let it sit and dry, and then we're going to get to the painting of this. So what you want to do is you want to fill up all the little. Uh, grooves on the grill and it really doesn't matter how much of a mess you make you, you don't have to be that clean about it right now um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to fill these lines up I'll just kind of give you an idea here what we're doing and basically what we're going to do is we're just going to fill everything up Now on the uh, video they talk about you can let this sit and then sand this all. Well you've sanded it all already so uh, what we might do is we might just might be better off is just take a paper towel and roll it up pretty tight because you don't want to remove now the glue from inside and just give this a little spray of water and then what we'll do is we'll just run this over top and what we're going to basically do is remove all the glue from the top leaving leaving the, the glue in the creases yeah, and we'll go ahead and we'll finish this off and we're going to let this sit and then we're just going to give this a coat of uh, black primer and uh, we'll come back and uh, continue on from there okay well we've given the glue about uh, two hours to dry and it seems to be all dry it's all transparent there's just a few milky parts on this side we'll have to wait a little longer for that and uh, before we give it a coat of primer I just want to make sure I've got everything off of um, the face of this so what I've got is I got some 1200 grit uh, sandpaper and I'm just going to lightly sand just the top just to make sure that all the glue is off of that and uh, there's no no risk of, of uh, peeling off the glue later on and having um, our paint come off with that so I'm going to sand all that down and then I'm going to give it a shot, uh, a shot of the uh, flat black primer from Rust-Oleum. Give it a couple coats and then uh, make sure it's light blocked and we can continue on from there. Okay, so we gave our uh, grills a little, uh, about three coats of the flat black, the uh, Rust-Oleum flat black. And I've also um, painted on um, a mixture of the blue and red and white and, and uh, just to give it kind of a... A violet color to it and then we just did all the edges with a little bit of a rust color just to see how that goes so let's uh, let's see if we can pull off this uh, white glue and see how this turned out So 
So the first thing I've noticed, it comes off pretty nice. Um, I don't know if you can see the see how uh, how well it comes off. Um, there's no bleeding or nothing. I think what I would do though is um, I would put a couple coats of the white on it. One coat just seems to be a little finicky getting off, but uh, I think two coats would be just about perfect. Two or three coats. Okay, well I'm going to get the rest of this cleaned up and uh, we'll just do a little light test on it and uh, see how it came out. Alright, well we got all the masking off and um, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Looks pretty good, so we'll do a little light test on it um, and see how that goes. Uh, I've got the LEDs sitting here with a little diffuser on there, so it's going to be a little intense. I'll try and keep it uh, low for everybody. You can just see kind of how it's going to start up. So that's kind of uh, the look we're going for. Yep, I'm pretty impressed with that. I think that uh, that method works pretty good. I think uh, probably one coat, maybe two. I wouldn't go to three. Three gets to be too much of a buildup, I think, and hard to take off. But one or two really works well. Uh, there was no paint bleed. Um, if there's any little areas that um, that you didn't quite get all the paint off, you can always use a toothpick and just get in there into the the groove and just kind of scratch off any of the paint that's remaining but other than that I think everything worked out really well I'm glad there you go the chiller grill paint out mask